Hey everybody, my name is Alex and welcome back to my channel, Ham Pickerson. I am a full-time reseller that sells on websites like eBay, Amazon, and for collectible cards, I sell on a website called TCG Player. It's been a little bit since I posted, but we are going to head to Goodwill. Um, it is Sunday currently, and uh, at least where I live, um, Goodwill does dollar Sundays. So what that means is when they have older inventory that sat for a little bit, um, Goodwill will mark down um, that sitting inventory to a dollar. So if it has a certain color, you get it for a dollar on the tag. So um, with that said, it's usually crazy there. A lot of resellers actually avoid Sundays um, just because the amount of people in there is probably quadrupled. Um, so, but we're gonna go see what we can find. Uh, I don't know if anything we'll find for a dollar. Um, I typically pick through everything, you know, once or twice a week, so we kind of know what's there. But who knows, there are still people that work during the weekend, so maybe they brought out some good stuff that maybe some uh, resellers uh, passed up on because they're not there. So, I will see you at our Goodwill. All right, we're here. Let's see what we can find. These are mucklucks and these are actually brand new. Um, the only reason why I know this brand is because of uh, Harry Tornado actually. But um, for $6.99, we'll definitely take the chance on these. These won't hurt. Here's another one right here. These are 900 V1 Fresh Foam. They're in very good condition. They do want $9.99. However, there are two listed and 25 sold. So great sell through rate with these. So we'll definitely pick them up. Here's a good brand I don't see too often, Untuck It. Um, looks like they want $6.49 for this and it is a medium. So um, I think we are gonna pick this shirt up uh, after a once over. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. Here's a cool one right here, Steelers Football. Normally I wouldn't buy this. This looks like it's just Reebok brand. It's an extra large, but there's a huge Steelers logo on the back. So um, for $6.99, we'll definitely get that. There's a cool one right here. This is Vintage Wrangler. This is a authentic Western jacket. And it's in a size small. Um, it's just a cool jacket. I love the W embroidered on there. And they only want $9.99, so I think we're definitely gonna pick this up. Here's one I've never seen before. This is like, this is Nike and it is a fleece. It's now a full zip fleece from the athletic department. But it has like a nice like finish. I don't know exactly what that is. Maybe like a nylon or something, but for $8.99, I think we're gonna pick it up. Double X. This is one I'm gonna take a chance on. This is a uh, Land's End made in USA. Would have never bought this if it was just regular Land's End. It's a medium, but it's just a really cool 90s color. So I'm gonna see if I could put this up for maybe $40 and see if I can make anything on it. Um, 90s is definitely back in style. I do see a little bit of staining there, so I'll have to wash it. But for $8.99, that'll work. So we didn't, didn't do great, but we didn't do bad either. Um, that Wrangler jean jacket was awesome. Uh, that Nike full zip. Um, the Pittsburgh Steelers sweatshirt uh, that I bought, or I was going to buy, um, right as I was checking out, I ended up looking at like a button enclosure and it was missing a button. So um, I ended up putting that back. Um, but with that said, uh, you know, we'll still make a profit on that. I ended up spending around $78, um, and we should make a majority of that money back just on that jacket alone. So um, we did sell some things this week, uh, and it's been a while since we went over anything. So uh, let's go back to the office, and we will go over, I don't know, 10 um, notable sales that went through over the past uh, week or so. All right, so it is the next day and we're gonna go over some of the things that sold, starting with uh, that penny board that we found uh, in a couple videos ago. Um, I ended up selling that for $50 plus shipping and the buyer paid $27.75 in shipping. So I think the total after taxes ended up being around $80. I sold that varsity jacket that we found. Um, so I ended up taking a best offer on that. I sold that for $60 and uh, the buyer paid $21 and 20 cents shipping that was going to California. Um, we also sold that Patriots football that we found. Um, I took a best offer, it sold for $29.99. Um, 
Another thing that sold that we went over was that Buddy Holly record we found. Um, it was honestly in terrible condition, but uh, you know, some people just collect records and I took a best offer. I sold it for $40 free shipping. Typically on records, I always include shipping for free because they can ship media mail. It's really only th around $3.25 to ship uh, anything media mail. So um, we've had plenty of shoes sell in the last week or so, probably around 15 pairs. Um, several have been the uh, Foot Joy shoes that we have found. So the Pro SL we found together, the black and the white pair sold. Um, I also found a uh, vintage Stetson hat, Stetson, um, definitely keep an eye out for that. That is definitely a bolo. Uh, my good friend Brad uh, let me know that Stetson is actually the official hat of the Dallas Cowboys. So uh, I ended up taking a best offer and I sold it for $63.40 um, and the buyer paid $11.60 to pretty much make it an even $75 for the hat. Um, other than that, you know, it's been uh, pretty good, uh, pretty consistent with sales. Those Cole Haan shoes that we found, those did sell. I took a best offer of $95. Um, let's see, I have my iPhone right next to me and I'm just going over everything. Um, another thing I ended up selling was uh, three bottles of this cologne called Taboo by Dana Day Cologne. Um, <laughs> Always keep an eye out for cologne, especially if it is um, filled. Some people even sell cologne, maybe if it's halfway done or um, you just want to be transparent with how much is left, uh, but especially keep an eye out if they are new because people love the scent that they wear and if they are discontinued, they still want that scent. So they're willing to pay a decent amount of money for them. Um, these, uh, it kind of smelled like a barbershop kind of aftershave. Um, and these sold for uh, two of them. I sold for $30 a piece and I sold those out to California and the other one sold for $50. The final thing that I've sold um, was a, or I should say a few of the things have been some ping golf sets. So uh, one of the things uh, that you should always keep an eye out for is ping golf clubs. Um, they, even if they're vintage, some of them are very collectible. And in this case, um, I sold a pair of ping I2, um, those sold for $100 plus shipping. And then I also sold a pair of Ping Zing irons um, and those sold for $139.99, I believe. Um, I'll have it up on the screen right here. So um, those are something to keep an eye out for, especially at least by me. Um, the Goodwill sells golf clubs for $3.99 a piece. So if you have a nine piece set, um, that's a pretty good profit right there. So definitely keep an eye out for full sets even specific clubs too. People like to replace their pitching wedge, sand wedge. Uh, maybe they broke it by accident or on purpose. <laughs> um, but there is some good money to be made on golf clubs, so definitely keep an eye out for those. If you've gotten this far, I really appreciate it. I know I've been behind on posting consistently, um, but I am going to continue posting one day a week, if not two days a week. Um, yard sale season is right around the corner, so I know I'm gonna have some great content strapping that GoPro to my backpack and showing everything I find at yard sales. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, and again, if you are new to the channel, uh, I really appreciate you checking out my channel. And if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, um, it helps the channel grow and uh, helps me, you know, continue everything going. So um, until the next one, I will see you later.